What's up, everybody? Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today, I'm going to answer your question. Dolce, what are your three favorite foods? Well, thank you for asking. I'm fine, by the way. My three favorite foods are represented in my three favorite meals. I'm not just going to give you three ingredients. I'm going to tell you exactly what I eat. Breakfast is the breakfast bowl. It's oats, it's berries, it's seeds, it's nuts. It's delicious, and when I say it's nuts, I mean like it's nuts. It's awesome, it's delicious, it's amazing. The breakfast bowl for me, half a cup of oat bran, one full cup of mixed berries, two tablespoons of chia seeds, two tablespoons of hemp seeds, two tablespoons of golden flax seeds, maybe like two to four tablespoons of a pumpkin seed or a sunflower seed, two tablespoons of an almond butter or a peanut butter. Every so often when we have some, I'll put in a cashew butter, a big extra sprinkle of cinnamon, maybe a little sprinkle of coconut flakes, and a good old old one second squeeze of fresh local raw honey. That's my breakfast nearly every single day of my life. Whether I'm trying to get shredded, whether I'm trying to get massive, whether I'm going on a, a European tour, uh, whether I'm sick in bed, that's my go-to nearly every single day. For lunch, I like to go more omelet farmer scramble style. I'll get two poached eggs, about four egg whites, and I'll mix that somehow, some way, and I always change it up. Sometimes I'll, I'll make the omelet, put the, the veggies in the omelet. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll whip it and, and bake it and turn it into like a, a quiche or maybe a frittatas, put it in a cupcake pan, put it all together, and then serve it as just like little quick on the go. We'll make quite a bit more in the recipe that way. Sometimes I'll hard boil the eggs and put it over a big robust cold salad, like a Cobb salad. All great ways to eat the exact same ingredients. This is my favorite meal, but usually I'm a sucker for an omelet or a scramble, and that's what I'll do. So if I do the scramble, I'll do the poached eggs plus the white. The white's very lightly fried, maybe in a coconut oil or so. Uh, sometimes I'll just put a little bit of water in a low heated skillet, and that works perfectly that way. No stick, no issues. Um, and then the vegetables, pretty close to raw. Maybe we'll, I'll heat them up just a little bit. Maybe we'll bake them for, for 20 minutes or so just to soften them up a little bit and add some kind of a little flavor. And I'll usually add a ton of maybe like a, a hot sauce or a, a tapatio, something along those lines, more commercial. Uh, but we'll, we'll typically make our own. I'll put some cayenne pepper in there, maybe some chili flakes. Um, I, depending on what peppers, hot peppers are in the house, I'll chop a little bit of that up. Next meal, last meal, lean, green, and clean. Lean, green, and clean. Lean, green, and clean. Lean proteins, green vegetables, clean burning carbohydrates. When you're eating like that, that's about all you really need to focus on. Lean, green, and clean. And that's typically our dinner, and we make it in a bunch of different ways. So using that basic concept, we'll do maybe a, a salmon stir fry. That's awesome. Maybe we'll do a little uh, um, piece of baked chicken and baked vegetables on the side. Ooh, that's absolutely amazing. Um, sometimes we'll do, uh, we'll roast like a, a chicken or a bird or something small like that and we'll have that for the next night or so uh, with some good clean veggies on the side, grilled asparagus, Brussels sprouts we do quite a bit. But it's usually one lean protein, one robust serving of vegetables, you know, one to four is our, we usually have like four vegetables at every meal. Um, and then some sort of easy carbohydrate, like I'll do like a baked potato let's say, I'll lightly, lightly boil the, the baked potatoes, soak it, heat it, chop it, crush it. We'll add some Greek yogurt. I'll add a tablespoon or two of a Greek yogurt to that basic potato, crush it up with a little bit of, of sea salt and a little bit of cracked black pepper, boom, 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 mix that up. And I'll put like a pat of grass-fed butter on the plate on that nice, perfectly proportioned mashed potato. So I'm eating mashed potatoes like every night. Even when cutting, I'll just eat a little bit less or maybe every other night a little bit less as you kind of get down to the nitty gritty. You can eat like that all prep. You can eat like that all peaking. You can eat, eat like that all, all life. You can eat like that all life. Why wouldn't you? So all the exclusionary restrictive stuff out there, eh, I don't get it. I'm, I'm happy to just kind of do what I'm doing. And subscribe to this channel if you like this information. Leave a thumbs up if I gave you anything that you might use. And leave a comment below if you want me to answer anything. Speaking of, I'm going to do a live Q&A on Friday. Live Super Chat, 90 minutes where I come on live. I sit and answer every single one of your questions. Click on the notification button so you know when I come on. I don't have a time set for it yet. 
I don't know. My day's a little crazy, but I guarantee you I will come on here and do a live super chat, 90 minutes or until I run out of questions. Whichever one comes first. That's a pretty good deal, right? So click on the notification button so you know when I do come out. All right, guys, I appreciate you being here. Until next time, boom!